daily readings for Wednesday, October 2, 2019. The first reading is from the book of Nehemiah, chapter 2, verse 1 to 8. In the next Nisan of the 20th year of King Artha Sources, when the wine was in my charge, I took some and offered it to the king, as I had never before been sad in his presence. The king asked me, Why do you look sad? If you are not sick, if you must be sad at heart, though I was seized with great fear. I answered the king, May the king live forever. How could I not look sad when the city where my ancestors are buried lies in ruins and its gates have been eaten out by fire? The king asked me, What is it then that you wish? I prayed to the God of heaven, and then answered the king, If it please the king, and if your servant is the serving of your favor, send me to Judah, to the city of ancestors' graves, to rebuild it. Then the king and the queen, seated beside him, asked me how long my journey would take and when I would return. I set a date that was acceptable to him, and the king agreed that I might go. I asked the king further, If it please the king, let letters be given to me for the governors of west of Euphrates, that they may afford me safe conduct until I arrive in Judah. Also a letter for Asaph, the keeper of the royal park, that he may give me wood for timbering the gates of the temple citadel and for the city wall and the house that I shall occupy. The king granted my request for the favoring hand of my God was upon me. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm by the streams of Babylon we sat and wept, when we remembered Zion and the aspens of that land, we held up our hopes. Though there are our captors asked of us, the lyrics of our songs, and our despoilers urge us to be joyous, sing for us the songs of Zion. How could we sing a song of the Lord in a foreign land? If I forget you, Jerusalem, may my right hand be forgotten. May my tongue cleave to my palate, if I remember you not, if I place not Jerusalem ahead of my joy. The Gospel of the Lord is from the book of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 1 to 5 to 10. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called the child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I said to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I say to you that their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. The Holy Gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ.